shall be done. Ben Wretched Night Elves, you are no match for the Naga. Naga? A fitting name for creatures who resemble monsters. Worms. These powerful creatures will easily lay waste to the Naga's primitive magics. Intrigued such barbaric serpents would hold curiosity for the finer luxuries of life. What interest would the Naga have with these treasures? Who cares? We will raid their stashes and claim their valuables as our own. As you command. Greetings, Malfurion. How do you know my name, Serpent? We know all about you and your Night Elf brethren, Druid. It is our intention to scour your wretched race from the world. I am no Druid, creature. Nor do you have any hope against my powers. Slay these insidious beasts! Shando Stormrage, it relieves us to know you are alive. What happened, Catharanus? Why were you not by my side when I came to consciousness? I apologize, Master, but the land's implosion was too dangerous for my people. I had to take everyone away to keep them safe, though we were scattered shortly afterwards when the Snake Men ambushed us. I have never seen their kind before, yet they seem familiar somehow. 
Then we had best hurry. The very sight of those creatures makes my stomach turn. Master, over here! What is this? The General of the Guardians? She is one of us now, Sorcerer. The blood ran its course, and her skills will prove useful to us. I was wondering when I would see you again, Illidan. Continue your search along the river. I want any more Quell Doran you find alive. And what of the remaining Night Elves, Lord Illidan? Avoid any encounters if possible. We have to focus on whatever forces we can gather for the battle ahead. So it is Illidan who leads these vile serpents. That would explain his obsession with his travels to the ancient ruins back in Winterspring. He must have summoned them using those strange encryptions from the ruins. Illidan planned to betray you all along, Catharanas. For the good of us all, he must be stopped. For color. I await your command. I await your command. Finally, some siege weaponry. They will prove invaluable in breaking through the Naga's defenses. I'm surprised to see the once proud General of the Guardians follow us so willing now. What happened to her people? They weren't strong enough to survive the transformation. And she didn't react to it? Why do you care? Pardon me, Master. I shouldn't intrude. Go, Illidan. We've told you everything we know. I think not, my servant. You belong to me, and will do as I command. We serve you no longer, betrayer. We heed only the words of our new master. You have always had a way with words, Illidan. Brother, I've been expecting you. You should have known better than to come back after your humiliating defeat. I can assure you, there will be no escape this time. It was a mistake for I to submit to your rule. Not only are you an incompetent leader, but you planned to betray us for the Naga. Is that what you think of me, Cathranis? My intention was to bolster our forces, to have both Highborn and Naga fight as one. And who would believe that, Illidan? The prophecy has been averted, and aside from myself, there is no one left to challenge you. I wouldn't jump to conclusions so easily, Furion. The Highborn I've captured informed me about you, and the destruction you've caused to your own people's establishments. You sound shocked. After all, I wouldn't expect someone like you to hold any regard towards the Kaldori. What's gotten into you, Furion? I only kill those that I have to. What would Tyrande think of you if she could see you now? That is none of your concern. Besides, I grow tired of debating with you. Let's put words aside and finish this. So be it, brother. I've been waiting a long time for this. I will not fall easily, brother. Attack, my Naga. Your scaly friends won't save you this time, Illidan. Burn, Ifurion.
for taking the Highborn from me. Come, my minions, kill Furion. It's over, Illidan. You have lost. No! Damn you! Well done, Master. My only desire was to stop the Legion. I... We needed more troops. And the Naga served as the perfect addition to our forces. When I summoned them at the ancient ruins, they came to me in a need for purpose. If all had gone as planned, we could have secured our strength in this world and combat the demons. Why didn't you inform me of your plans, Illidan? I know I promised your people to secure the power of the wells, but the Naga were an opportunity I couldn't miss. If I had told you about the Naga, I was afraid your people would abandon me. But it seems Furion was one step ahead, and you had to deal with him alone at the Wells of Power. Only after witnessing the outcome had I realized my mistake. Silence. Your plans did not come into fruition because you are weak. You were never able to protect anyone. Not your people, not those who you cared for, and not even yourself. Uh. Now you shall suffer for opposing me all these years. Each pain you'll go through will be a mortal reminder of your insolence. I have tried and I have failed. I know you may find it hard to believe, but I have always been envious of you. When you took Tyrande away, I sought solace in power and the well of eternity. Please, brother, hand me now filth like you doesn't deserve to be called my brother. I want you to squirm and suffer like the pathetic whelp you are. Come now, sorcerer. We have wasted enough time. Is this what you wanted, Katranas? To have your people follow at Tyrant? The choice that keeps my people safe will always be the right decision. He is not who he used to be. I see it now in his eyes. Those are not the eyes of my brother. I fear for Tyrande, for your people. Once they play their part, how certain are you that you won't share my pain as well? For what it's worth, I feel sorry for you, Illidan Stormrage. As do I, for you and your people. <laughs> Are you all right? Of course. These events have left me exhausted, and I need to rest. Then let's go. Our master awaits us.